All right, guys, welcome to another video of mine. Uh, this is another one that I feel like a lot of people ask me on. Um, if you have the Holly 7-inch dash running a Holly Terminator software, or probably HP and the others, uh, you are able to create a shift light on your dash, as you'll see in this video here. Um, I still run an external shift light. Um, I feel like it's a little bit easier to see, but for people wanting to keep things nice and clean, this is a good method to still have a shift light. All right, so this is really easy. Um, you're gonna download from ECU, connect to your current file. Close that. So then you're gonna go up to input output. And you have pin map. For this one, we're only gonna use input output. You scroll over to outputs. You're gonna label it shift light. Okay, so that's good. You're gonna click enable. From there, you're going to configure. And that's gonna be your triggers. Switch output, zero. And then there's your switch input. So switch input will be, if RPM is above, it'll turn on. If it's below, it'll turn off, so we'll say um, for test, we're going to say, say 1500 and then below, say 1300. Okay. So to verify, pin map, view outputs, shift light. So it's good. Close. And then we're going to go to our dash. All right, so getting the gauge is really easy. Click on your, go to menu, customize, hit OK, click it, add, gauge. All right, so this is a weird one. You're going to scroll down to odometer. So either EP, GPS or not, hit OK. Then you're going to want digital. So once you click that, you're going to see it here, GPS odometer, customize. So label, we're going to get rid of that. We're going to clear it, call it. Enter. Okay. This is going to be range 0 to 1. Hit OK. Warnings, enable high, clear, one, hit okay, clear, hit one, okay, foreground color, make it black, hit okay, I'm gonna scroll down, and then you're gonna wanna hit the size. For this one, I want it big. So we're going to do 450. Hit OK. And then last, you have GPS odometer. You're going to scroll. Your shift light. Hit OK. And then when you're done, click OK. You have your shift light. So we're going to move it. See the box here? Take up most of the screen. Hit this. Hit save. Now we're good to test it out at the 1500 RPM setting that we put.
hopefully that walkthrough will get you up and running and have your dash act as a shift light while you're racing. You'll obviously need to go back to your input output settings and adjust the RPM accordingly. If you have any questions, make sure to ask. If you want to see more, make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.